The new term of the Supreme Court got underway today, and there are some noteworthy cases that could influence the way business gets done in this country. Hampton Pearson has more from our nation's capital. The 2015 Supreme Court term finds big business hoping for favorable decisions from the Roberts Court in two high-profile cases that could curb costly class-action lawsuits. There is a feeling, I think, among some members of the court that the lower federal courts have turned too far in the direction of helping out plaintiffs, and they are, are wanting to cut back on that. The most high-profile case involves Tyson's Foods. They're looking for the justices to overturn a $5.8 million judgment because they failed to pay some 3,000 employees at a pork processing plant for the time spent putting on and off protective gear. At issue is just how many of those employees were eligible. In the Tyson case, many of the employees worked nowhere near 40 hours a week, so even if they spent 15 minutes donning and doffing uniforms, they would not have been entitled to overtime pay. Nonetheless, the lower courts lumped all of the Tyson employees into one big group. Another case involves the internet search engine Spokio. It's being sued by a Virginia man for publishing inaccurate information. The individual admits there was no harm, but he still wants to preserve his right to sue. Mandatory union dues for government workers is at issue in a case involving the California Teachers Association. The union argues they should collect dues from all workers, even those who don't join the union, because all workers benefit from collective bargaining between the unions and government. The issue in this case is whether public employees who opt out of joining a union can be forced to pay dues nonetheless that cover the uh, reasonable uh, costs associated with collective bargaining. In the 1970s, the Supreme Court said that this is fine, but in recent years, in two cases, the justices questioned the validity of this 1970s case. The election year calendar also finds the court dealing with cases involving voting rights, race in college admissions, and religious objections to birth control. The court's decisions on many politically charged issues will come during the heat of the presidential campaign, with candidates from both parties already making the future makeup of the court a lightning rod issue in the 2016 election. For Nightly Business Report, I'm Hampton Pearson at the Supreme Court.